Hello, and welcome to a Calibre how-to video guide. In this video, we will take a look at how to begin transitioning your classic Calibre Interactive Tickle-based customization files to the new JavaScript-based configuration file format in the new Calibre Interactive. In order to understand this process a little bit better, we must take a look at the difference between a customization file and a configuration file. In Classic Calibre Interactive, users were able to write and create a custom file that would bring up a customization menu containing defines, variables, and other custom items that are related to the specific flow. The new Calibre Interactive GUI is backwards compatible with the Classic Calibre Interactive customization files and will open the Classic Custom menu as an integrated custom page containing the deck specific defines, variables, and other custom items. However, the new GUI configuration format goes beyond just having a simple custom page but allows users to customize the entire Calibre Interactive user interface to be tailored to best fit a desired workflow. Users can rearrange default GUI inputs and options, hide or lock down items and pages throughout the entire GUI, and of course add variables and defines and other custom items just as before, among many other new customization capabilities. In order to utilize the GUI-wide configuration capabilities of the new Calibre Interactive, it is best practice to begin migrating the classic Tickle-based custom files to the new Calibre Interactive configuration format. We will take a look at how to import custom defines and variables into the configuration editor as a good starting point to begin working in the JavaScript-based configuration files. We will begin by opening the configuration editor, then going to File, Import Customization, and selecting the classic Calibre Interactive Tickle-based customization file. We can observe that a new page called Custom was added, containing all of the identifiable customization items such as defines, variables, headers, labels, etc. We can now hit Preview and take a look at the configuration file with the imported customization file. And we can see that we have a page called Custom with our imported defines and variables. These are fully functional. We can observe that the master dependent relationships are there as well. We can close the preview and then go ahead and save the configuration file. Give it a new name. In this case, we'll do drc.ci.config. Click save. And we can observe that the file that we saved, drc.ci.config, is now in the new JavaScript-based configuration file format. It has all of the custom defines and variables that we have imported, and we are no longer relying on the classic Calibre Interactive format. We can now use this new configuration file that we have created as a great starting point to utilize all of the GUI-wide configuration capabilities of the configuration editor and the configuration format in New Calibre Interactive in general. It is important to note that this is not a tickle translator to JavaScript, but an import of custom items to use as a starting point. If users would like to add their own custom JavaScript code after the fact, they could do that by editing the configuration file. Thank you for watching this how-to video guide. I hope you found this helpful.